Good morning everyone. My name is Manse Roda, student of BBLLB second year. I welcome you all to another legal bulletin of Mary PLI. The topic for today is the impact of social media on Indian legal system. Social media has revolutionized social interaction, communication and the sharing of information impacting many packets of both personal and professional life. Social media has a major and changing influence on Indian legal system. The increasing integration of social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp and Twitter into daily life has brought about a range of opportunities and difficulties for Indian legal framework and judicial process, merits, evidence and investigation. In criminal investigations and trial, social media platforms are being used more and more to gather evidence, though they are also raise questions about privacy and versity of evidence, post messages and conversations on social media sites like Facebook and Twitter can include important information, public awareness and advocacy. Social media has developed into an effective instrument for bringing attention to legal problems abuses of human rights and social justice movement. It facilitates influencing public opinion and promoting legislative changes, judicial communication to improve transparencies. Courts and other legal institutions utilize social media to interact with the public, share information and provide updates on ongoing cases. Legal challenges, the quick disseminations of information on social media can give rise to disinformation, defamation, and privacy violation, which puts pressures on legal system and in enforcement procedures. Case management and procedures. Social media has impacted how court cases are managed and how legal professionals behave, which frequently calls for the creation of new rules and regulation. Demerits. Misinformation and defamation. The quick disseminations of incorrect information can cause a defamation and damage. Reputation making it difficult to deal with and resolve such problems through the legal system. In the landmark judgment of Subramanya Swami versus Union of India, the two judges bench of Supreme Court upheld the constitutionality of the offense of defamation under the Indian Penal Code by making the following important observations. First, any person cannot, in the name of freedom of speech and expression, defame others. Hence, the court held that it is difficult to come to conclusion that the existence of criminal defamation is absolutely obnoxious to the freedom of speech and expression. Second, the court stated the protection of reputation is a fundamental right. It is also a human right Cumulatively, it serves the social interest. Thus, we are unable to accept the provisions relating to criminal defamations are not saved by doctrine of proportionality because it determines a limit which is not impossible with the creation of reasonable restrictions. Privacy concerns sharing personal information on social media frequently gives rise to concern about data protection and privacy violations, necessitating the updating of legislative frameworks, cyberbullying and harassment. Social media platforms enormity can make it easier for cyberbullying and harassment to occur, which presents problem for victim protection and law enforcement. Regulations versus freedom of speech. There is continuous legal struggle to strike a balance between this necessity to control harmful content such as hate speech and in sentiment of violence and the right to free expression. Conclusion, overall the Indian legal system is continuously adapting to address these impacts striving to balance innovation with protection and regulation in digital age. So that's all for the today. We will be back with some more legal updates.